Hello everyone. Um, I, I'm sorry I'm so late with this video. I know I said I would be doing it, but I, uh, it's a long story. I'll get around to it. Um, this will probably be titled something like mental health update or something like, uh, to that, to that effect. Because, um, yeah, I said I was going to make a video on it and, uh, well, this is it. Very late, but it's here. Uh, so there's a few things. Um, I suppose not all of you have heard what happened after I left the hospital. Um, first, I went to a housing place that mostly had older alcoholics and whatnot, and it didn't really suit me. So I went to another place, another housing unit, younger people. Um, just four of us. It was like a small, small house where we each had our own room and we shared a kitchen, that sort of thing. And um, I think I, there's a video or two of that here. Um, anyway, I uh, did college while while I was there, and um, it worked out. Uh, I, I finished it, and I got I got my my grades and everything, and you know my exams was all good. Um, so after that, I moved into this place, which uh, I I this is this is well, it's rented, but it's mine. Um, and I started uni. I started studying occupational therapy, um, which I still think is a very worthwhile subject. But, um, well, long story short, I, I wasn't ready for it. Um, it. It was very difficult. First of all, it's, it's uh, in Copenhagen, so it was like an hour's, an hour's commuting each way, so two hours every day. And... I, uh, I'm not a very well organized person, and it wasn't a particularly well organized school either. Like I would have to check my schedule every morning to be sure that I actually had to show up and and which room to go to and whatnot because they kept changing them with short notice and I uh, I had some issues with funding at first my student support I was supposed to get increased student support because of my diagnosis but apparently that had to be cleared first so I had to go for three months without any extra support which meant I had to uh, eat up my savings and the last month I didn't have anything left so I, I was pretty much uh, running on fumes and I didn't show up to all my lectures because I couldn't afford the train and excuse me it was just it was just a mess really and I was very stressed and I finished the first first two modules and I attempted to redo the second module because I didn't I didn't do very well at the tests and actually I didn't even hand anything in and it it was just it was a no go it wasn't working I could I couldn't do it not yet at least um so so that was the thing and that kind of it kind of knocked me down a, a, a peg or two, because I don't know. I I don't know if it's just if it's just me and my expectations to myself, but I felt like I was supposed to be able to do that, you know. And it didn't it didn't feel it didn't feel right that I would have to give this up. It that's not that's not the person I see myself as or saw myself as or whatever. So um, so that was difficult, and I also had some trouble with the the social interactions with the school because because for me a great way of learning is going to lectures and listening to people and reading a bunch of books. I'm good at that. The group work interaction have to make people agree and stuff, have to coordinate everything that that sort of thing. I can do it, but it's not a good way for me to learn because I spend all my all my uh, energy or attention trying to get people to interact properly, and I forget to learn anything myself. So it's 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 not really ideal for me. And the entire education is is set up as as group work, so it wouldn't. Um, I wasn't sure about it, and I had a couple a couple talks with some coordinators and whatnot, and it. Uh, I, we decided to uh, put that on hold for now, at least. Um, which uh, leaves me here now. And I'm kind of trying to get back. 
back in the saddle, but I don't have any savings anymore. I bought books and everything. Um, so uh, right now I'm trying to trying to save up money again, and I just uh, yeah, and try and trying to get back from where I was because it it did. I, I do feel like it, it knocked me back a little bit in my progress or whatever. Um, a different uh, different aspect of it where I might I, I might feel like I can I can see remnants of of how I used to be and and the sickness or whatever. It would be uh, I I spent a weekend out with my friends like uh, in the summer cottage like there's an old video of that on here somewhere. Uh, with my friends drinking and after after like the second third night of drinking when we got up and and, and started you know cleaning up and everything i i started having having weird weird symptoms like uh you know positive symptoms i did keep thinking people are talking to me and keep thinking you know objects are, are moving and i start asking him can't, you can't, can't, seriously you can't see this and, I ended up just going outside and cleaning the porch because, you know, that way I wouldn't have to interact with anyone. And it was, it, yeah, it was better that way. But after I slept a couple times, it got better. I just, I suppose from that, I, I learned that I'm not supposed to be drinking several days in a row, at least anymore. Um, That's not good for me. Uh, Other than that, n I uh I was out tonight with my family. We had we had a really nice dinner at a at a really nice restaurant and yeah, it was not it was nice. I I enjoy that my relationship with my with my dad's improved a lot over the last few years and my mom as well. So so that's been a big big part in, in helping me as well. I feel like uh their their support and you know, also their their willingness to to give me space that has really helped me in uh, well they, they've made honest attempts to understanding me and I appreciate that and that helps me move on I suppose keep going um, not much much else to say I suppose this um, is like my mental health update there's not much to say in in regards to schizophrenia because the more I think about it, and you know, with the nuances and individual people and what you classify as mental illness and not, I've come to the conclusion that it's impossible for me to classify what part of my experience is a symptom of schizophrenia and which part of it is just me. So I, I'm i going to have to leave you hanging on that one. I, I don't know. But this is uh, this is how I feel and this is what's going on. And uh, hope uh, you enjoyed this and that have some sort of positive views for this information. Have a good one.